How's everything going in the spring so far for you? Feeling good? Body uh, good? Health good? Everything good? Like everything's straight. Everything's good. We're just, you know, getting back into spring ball, getting back into the groove of things. Gonna take this break, but yeah. When you look uh, back to your freshman season, I mean, what, what's your kind of your biggest takeaway from, from all your success and what you left out there? I mean, I really guess just believing in myself because going into the season, I wouldn't say I didn't believe in myself, but I didn't think I could do the things I was doing. So just having more belief in myself and knowing I can do those things. How much different do you feel now compared to a year ago when you got here and we're kind of the new guy on the block in spring and, you know, a year later, do you kind of feel like the old man now? Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say the old man because, you know, it's definitely a lot of older guys up there. But, um, no, nah, I'd say everything feels just, i say like high school again, really, just everything feels smooth. i see seeing everything clearly, so, yeah. Is there anything in particular that you're working on from year one to year two for this spring that you want to get better at before the start of training camp uh, in the summer? Uh, no, I'd say just really sticking to like my base skills, my core beliefs, just doubling down and getting every little detail. Just, yeah. How have you seen the continuity in the running back room kind of translate to spring camp so far with basically everybody coming back? Oh, I mean, the running back room is real close, real tight. Everyone wants to make each other better. So, I mean, I just, just seeing it being more dangerous for other teams, you know, they got to deal with us again. So. Is there a part of you that looks back at last year and you're like, man, 18 yards from a thousand. 18 away. Do you think about that at all? Um, it's like going run, run, man. Yeah, no, I, I did for a minute, but, you know, God always has bigger things, so hopefully in this year, bigger and better. Kind of like a little nugget of motivation, I guess, yeah, huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. On that running back room, how deep is that running back room? We got to obviously see it quite a bit last year, but guys obviously getting better each year. How does it look now? I mean, like you said, everyone's coming back. Everyone's just getting better. Everyone's going to for sure get better, just level up through the season. We get to fall camp. Everyone double down on their details and just, like I said, get more dangerous for the team. Is your mindset kind of like I'm, I'm the number one now? Uh, you know, it's kind of yours for the taking? No, I'm never that. It never was that. I mean, everyone in the room can run the ball. Everyone can get to the spot. It's just what you do at the next level, and everyone can, everyone can run the ball. So just always got to continue to improve. What was your reaction when you're like, DJ's coming when you heard he was he was showing up. I mean, it's a big name, obviously. Everyone was looking at him coming in and even now, but he's got to, you know, compete, make that room better is what he's doing. So mm -hmm. yeah, everyone's competing, he's getting to the groove, be straight. How would you describe what he brings or has brought so far? I know it's a couple weeks of spring, but. Uh, I mean, definitely size. You know, he's still getting used to the offense, getting to his groove. So once, you know, he'll definitely dominate once he does that. Physically, was it helpful maybe to to not carry such a, a heavy load earlier in the year? Did that leave you a little fresher later in the year? Uh, and is I mean, that something you're thinking about this fall when it might be from you know from day one? Um, I guess yeah, I could definitely play a part in me having fresh legs later in the season. But like I said, just everyone's ready in the room. Everyone's ready to do their part and just lead. So yeah. Do you put a lot of focus on your like body? And like, like is that in the next step for you is getting bigger, stronger, and just staying, you know, healthier? Yeah, because, you know, everyone, like I was a freshman last year, everyone's like, oh, you're just young, so, you know, you just take care of your body. But, yeah, definitely this year, taking care of it more, just continuing on, especially when I want to play at the next level. And what goes into that? Is that weightlifting? Is that diet? Is that lead, lead us through what that looks like? Uh, definitely starts in the uh, training room, just uh -huh. rehab, stuff like that, cold tub. But, yeah, diet definitely plays a part. I learned that this past season, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting more into my diet part. What did you learn? Uh, I mean, just the stuff you, I didn't, I mean, I know kind of, but I didn't really know, just talking to the nutritionist, like stuff you eat, how much you sleep, just really affects how your, your growth and just how well you'll be able to perform. You're saying you just can't stay up till 1 a.m. eating cookies is what uh, you're saying? No, yeah, I didn't do that before, <laughs> but yeah, I can't, definitely can't do it now. How would you describe the impact Keith has made, the new, new guy overseeing the room? Um, Coach Keith is, he's, He's really himself. He brings every like, just everyone. He lets everyone be themselves. He's himself, so he brings like just you just you want to be better and just work for somebody like that, you know. So. Has he like brought any fresh perspective or new ideas, or is it just kind of reinforcing what you guys already do? I mean, definitely reinforcing what we already have, but he's definitely trying to bring some new keys and just stuff that we can do because he's worked with a lot of like you know agility backs and stuff like that. So he's um. Yeah, definitely trying to get that part of our game up. How would you describe the, the room you're taking over and the opportunity ahead of you? No, I think it's, um, you know, a really good room. I think you think about the guys and what they were able to do this past season, 
um, you know, with how we how they ran the ball. Then you get a chance to watch the film. Um, you know, some of the stuff they were able to do from a protection standpoint, some of the veteran leadership with a guy like Deshaun Fenwick, and then obviously, you know, watching uh, Damian Martinez come in on at the end of the season, and then you have complimentary guys um, from the past year with Trey Lowe and Jam Griffin. It's really exciting to kind of get these guys going. Um, you know, and I, you know, the other guy I forgot, I mean, he had a couple big carries in the Oregon game was Isaiah Newell. So you think about this group and, you know, the reps that they have, now, the one thing everybody says, well, I want the ball more, want the ball more. But when you have young guys and they're able to get out there um, and get out there on the football field, you are able to build quality depth. Make your transition to Oregon State a little easier when you inherit guys like Damian Martinez and, and veterans like Fenwick and, and Lowe? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, definitely you, it's always good to come into a place where you feel like there's some good pieces that are in place. And, you know, hopefully you can just come in and continue to build on the culture uh, that Coach Smith and the rest of the coaching staff has, has created and the rest of the support staff as well. When what you was look that at conversation when, when Jonathan called you? Um, how, long, how long did it take you to decide? Um, you know, that's a good question. I think, um, you know, obviously it's, it's not just cut and dry, you know, um, that you're coming to Oregon State because it's the Pac-12 or anything like that. I just think, you know, obviously for me getting the opportunity uh, to work with Coach Smith again and, you know, knowing some of the stuff that uh, they were able to do here at Oregon State this past season and seeing the culture that was built because this didn't just start last season. You know, this started, you know, when Coach uh, Smith got here, I think it was, what, 2017. And at that time, I was at the University of Washington, and I've seen this team and this program get better year after year, and it's really that staff and the coaches. So understanding that there was something being built as far as a foundation. Obviously, for me, I was at a great place in Boise State, a place that uh, I care about a lot. So the, it, how easy was it? It was not an easy call, but at the end of the day, you know, just praying on it and making sure I was putting, you know, both programs in the best situation, and that, that was what it came down to. And I'm just happy to be here and be a part of Oregon State. When you look at film of last year, of Damian and what you've seen you know, the last couple of weeks, what, what's the next step for him as, as he moves on after a successful freshman season? I just think it's you know just football knowledge, man, that FBI. I think he's still a kid that still needs to practice. He still needs to get in the scrimmages and do some of those things. You know, I think the hard part in today's uh, – you know, age of college football, you know, a kid has success and you put a lot of pressure on him. You know, he was in high school a year ago, whatever it was, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, obviously he played, you know, tough at the end of the season, but just his football intelligence when it comes to protection, his technique, his fundamentals, just understanding the game and, you know, situational football, all that stuff is what you want to build. So he has a really good menu of things he can draw from when it's time to uh, get into the season. Having this competitive of a room, what's sort of your philosophy on rotating them in and out? You're talking about during the season? Yeah. You know, I haven't even got to that point yet. Yet, I'm just, you know, really just trying to uh, continue to build, like I said, that dependable depth. You know, I, I spoke of the names, and the na all of those names were able to contribute over the course of the season. And that's really what I'm trying to focus on, getting these guys a banked rep reps in this offense. And, you know, if Trey was a guy that, you know, caught a lot of passes, did things on third down, now during spring ball, fall camp, get him a little bit more stuff where he's doing stuff on the mix down stuff and vice versa so we can depend so you can kind of plug and play guys. Um, overall for philosophy when it comes to having multiple guys in a room is, you know, you, you do want to make sure you can keep guys healthy. I think one thing everybody thinks about is I want to be the guy, but, you know, guys get tired. Guys, you want guys to hold on to the ball. You want guys to stay healthy. You want to wear defenses down. So to have the depth that we have and the bodies that we have and the experience that we have is really fun. How does your experience, you mentioned your time at Washington, obviously had a deep backfield with a lot of guys who you would give touches at times. How does that kind of give you kind of the experience heading into this backfield? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, being able to um, have the experience of, uh, you know, being able to rotate guys through, um, you kind of have, have a good idea of what it looks like. But, you know, that was Washington, this is Oregon State. So with that being said, that's like I said before, I got to figure out where I can – how I can build and get my my feelers and my feet underneath me through spring ball and fall camp to get a better feel. But I know what it looks like as far as putting together uh, kind of a plan once we get to that point. Back to your decision to, to take this job. How much did your experience coaching with Jonathan at other stops factor into uh, maybe your you know your draw to, to take this position? Oh yeah, I mean I think that you know that was probably if it you know 
that's probably number one on the list. Um, just, you know, knowing um, the type of coach that he is, uh, you know, the type of person he is when it comes to um, the players and, you know, seeing what he's been able to do and working with them. Obviously, if you have experience with somebody working, that always makes that transition a lot easier. Not your room, but what have you seen out of DJ so far in, in camp? You know, I think it's just, it's so hard. It's so early. I think, uh, you know, he's another kid, man, that, you know, is coming from um, a great a great program in Clemson and you wanted to join here to, you know, get a change of scenery. And, uh, you know, he's been here just as long as me, it seems like, at this point. And he's, at, he's in practice five. I'm messing up in practice five just like, you know, a lot of these young guys are. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, everybody expects these volumes of change by a kid or a coach or a player. And, you know, it's 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 a progress. It's And, you know, there's one thing, you know, obviously me and Jonathan worked with Coach Peterson for a long time. Um, there's one thing you can never substitute in this game, and that's time. And it takes time to build. It takes time uh, to get guys ready. It takes time to, you know, to do all those things. And, you know, obviously over the past five years, the time has been well spent with what Oregon State has been able to do. Last year, you were on the uh, opponent's sideline. Yep. Uh, so you got a, a good look at this defense. When you come over to this sideline, do they ask you like what that looks like from from the opponent point of view, or do they talk about that any? No, not really. I mean, obviously, Coach Bray and the defensive coaches do a really good job. Uh, you know, tough, physical, hard-nosed defense that tackles well works to create turnovers, works to create confusion, stop the run, stop explosives. They're a good defense.